What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over the Flash 7 Glitch Harden uh, Locker Code. And guys, if you are new, make sure to sub it up, comment down below. We're going to run an MT giveaway today on Twitter. And if you guys do need MT, um, hit me up on Instagram and or Twitter. I'm buying and selling MT on both Xbox and PS4. And uh, we're going to go over this Locker Code. We're going to go over all the other Locker Codes. We're also, not only that, we are also going to do a couple other things. So here we go. Um, here it is, man. Flash dash. This is the locker code. We're also going to show you a couple other locker codes that you guys, if you haven't seen it yet. So, here's the locker code that got leaked, and that's why Hardens were up on the board, guys. So, pretty crazy. Flash dash seven dash glitch dash Harden. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on my pack luck, but it's really bad. My pack luck was really bad. I literally got scammed. I didn't even pull one card in the set. I don't even think there was any cards in this set. So we're going to go for the blue locker code. Uh, we're going to land it all the way to the right. Hopefully we get some heat. Um, really hoping we get that hard. And, and we don't. Oh, we get a redo. Come on, man. 2K, please. I don't want the yellow. Ooh, go to the right. Go to the right. Oh, no. Oh, we have another chance. Uh, give me more MT. Give me more tokens. Oh, we're going to the right. Oh, come on. Come on. To the right. To the right. Oh, we missed. All right. Well that's the code i don't understand why they can <clears throat> just give us a guaranteed locker code but whatever um we're gonna go with the other locker codes right now so let's get into it all right boys here's the other locker codes man you could just type them in you could pause the screen whatever flash dash seven glitch hard season dash five dash idols dash super packs opal dash quantum dash kevin dash durant i don't know why they can't just give us free packs it's so annoying but here we go uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six codes. This one's expiring, so it's probably not going to be usable anymore. But these are the codes. We got about one, two, three, four, four codes. So not bad. Now we're going to get into the market. Um, guys, I'm just so upset about the pack odds. I don't understand how they could be so bad. I really just don't understand. I, I just really, I, I don't know. But anyways, let's get into the market. We're going to talk about the market a little bit. Um, let's pop a pack in, in um yeah just because i'm really upset so we're gonna pop a pack and we're gonna pull an opal right here so that's how it goes and yeah this is what i've gotten in every single pack i didn't get any players from the set i found that i find that incredibly crazy but right now man i feel like the galaxy opal snipe filter should go crazy there's not gonna be a market crash today i said if there's flash there's not gonna be a market crash so yeah there is flash the content is okay it's nothing crazy there's not like 50 opals in packs there's no super packs there's not gonna be a crash right now honestly a great day to say your card is gonna be sunday there's gonna be no other content it's just gonna be dry so the market should rise there shouldn't be a market crash like when super packs drop so right now man we're gonna check out the investment in let's check out what amethyst they dropped this week and they released a ronald murray so we're gonna look at him we're gonna see if he's worth the investment also my investments there should go up in value why is that well here's a little tip let's check out this murray great card great card phenomenal card quick first step hall of fame he could dunk at a 90 cool clamps and does he have range if he has range and he has range so yeah this card's incredible we're gonna go over to amethyst end we're gonna see what's going on with my old investments my petrovich and whatnot so let's check it out um so petrovic is on the rise nothing crazy yet he might stay around this price for a little bit i'm thinking next week he will go to around 2k especially on xbox man maybe not ps4 but look at this a power forward 1300 mt <clears throat> i might have to pick up some i already have like a million and ten but for the investment end i think i might have to pick up some more so i might i'm gonna pick up two more i already have like 50 of him so i'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer but right now man one of the best filters in the game to make mt definitely amethyst definitely definitely amethyst you're gonna make a lot of mt off this card off this uh right here so amethyst is definitely a great way to snipe next we got galaxy opal nets um uh, we got kevin durant we got kenyon martin we got james harden on here so this filter by far is one of the best filters in the game um honestly i don't know if you should pull the trigger on kenyon martin he is a very good card if you want to pull the trigger on him if he does pop up on this filter i think it's not a bad idea and why is that because kenyon martin is a pretty good player in general and not only that i feel like for 100k for a galaxy opal you're not going to go wrong you really can't go wrong he might not sell for a little bit more but for keeping wise 
I would definitely pull the trigger. Right now, man, if you step out of Galaxy of Mahard into Durant, you're going to make so much MT. People might mess up. I don't know, man. I feel like all the people, like all the bots that play 2K aren't here this year. Like all the people that are new to the game. I feel like there's not a lot of newcomers this year. I feel like this game is kind of ruined. I don't know why. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people aren't playing 2K as much as last year. Last year, 2K was so much bigger. Um, there was just so much more people playing the game. And right now, man, there's just not a lot of people playing the game. There really just isn't. So um, I feel like the snipes have been dry this year. I don't know if you guys agree. But I don't know. I've been seeing only snipes I've been seeing are cards that are ready buyouts. Like, honestly, that's why I feel like I've been put, putting out the pink diamond and diamond sheaves filter. Because, honestly, that's really the only time I see cards. Like, I don't know what it is this year. There's just not a lot of snipes. There's not a lot of bots on the game. There's not a lot of newbies. I don't know what they're doing. Realistically, man, I'm just saying this right now. I feel like the pink diamond sheaves filter might be one of the best filters right now. Other than that, man, there's really not a, a lot of good filters. They're on a ruin. The Galaxy Oval filter, obviously, but the chances of you actually getting a Galaxy Oval are probably zero to none. And that's how I feel with most of these filters, man. That's why I feel like investing is the only way. The Galaxy Oval Snipe filter is literally dry. I've tried it a million times. I haven't seen anything pop up. If you guys have seen a Galaxy Oval Snipe, make sure to let me know down below in the comments because I haven't seen anything lately. Like, the Snipes have been super dry. I don't know what it is, but I, I guess it's just a this year thing. I guess 2K has just been dry with snipes. I think that's why they want to make you pop packs. It probably makes a lot of sense. So, I don't know. Galaxy with Snipe is definitely one of the best, I guess, if you do get a snipe. Diamond Sheavis is definitely going to be up there, man. Diamond cards are low-key, literally, Galaxy Opals. Almost every diamond card that is buyable at, like, 6K is an OP. If you're going to buy a diamond card for 15K, go ahead. They're going to compete with Galaxy Opals. Some of them have crazy stats. It doesn't even matter about the tier. It's all about the badges and the stats, bro. It's crazy. These diamond cards could really pair up against freaking Galaxy Opals. It makes no sense to me, but it's facts. It's literally straight facts. So this is what we got. Nothing crazy yet. Um, this filter is pretty decent, man. You just got to know what you're looking for. You got to just look for cards with great badges and great stats. This filter is going to refresh a lot. So be ready to snipe. You might have to scroll a tiny bit, but um, I think there's going to be a lot of snipe, snipes on this filter. We're going to show you one more vi one more before the video ends. And it is LeBron James. And you want to put your minimum buyout to around, I don't know, 80K. And uh, just scroll a little bit, see what's going on. We'll put it to like 67. Look at this. So LeBron, two pink diamonds on here and a Galaxy Oval on the snipe end. So I think you guys can easily clutch out a pink diamond LeBron snipe on this filter. That's why I feel like this filter is pretty goaded, man. Uh, LeBron pink diamond. I think you could definitely get one on here. Like no one's really looking up this filter. I feel like it's low key. There only is three cards in the filter that you can snipe. But still better than nothing but yo other than that man that's really all we got for the video i want to know what you guys got in your pack outs because i feel hoed i feel scammed i literally feel so scammed right now I'm, I'm upset i'm very upset but yo other than that man hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think anyways have a good one boys peace